I think the two countries have formed really deep ties in terms of trade, investment, finance, uh, technological corporations, people-to-people -people exchanges, and so on and so forth. So when it comes to trade, I think it's very important to note that you know both countries' trade are complementary. So they have been trading about $79 billion uh, uh, dollars back in 2023 with a trade deficit against uh, uh, France. And so that has become a sort of a, a, a tricky uh, issue uh, not only for France, but also for EU as a whole. But at the same time, we have to understand that, you know, these two countries' trade are very mutually beneficial because the way they trade is very complementary. Uh, China is good at manufacturing uh, electronic products, home appliances, and France has been supplying China with aerospace craft, uh, you know, nuclear energy uh, equipment, and also high-end consumer goods, and also high-value-added agricultural products. So in a way, I think these kinds of trade really help to complement with, with each other's economy. And beyond that, two countries also formed a lot of investment uh, among them, uh, among each other. So for example, you know, China has close to uh, 800 firms in France that employ 50,000 workers at the local economies. And France has 6,000 uh, companies in China with a total investment about $1.8 billion. So in a way, you know, these kinds of cooperation um, and economics not only build benefit both countries, but also help to foster the kind of trust, uh, the kind of interdependence uh, between the two countries. And I think that is greatly beneficial uh, for the strategic, uh, you know, interest of both.